Experts describe it as a lost masterwork and the largest of Hans Heysen's watercolours. Now after six decades in Europe, one of the legendary landscape artist's works has come back home for sale. Simon Royal reports. A masterwork comes to light from an artist renowned for his mastery of the Australian light. It's great to see it back in Adelaide because it's a fair beauty, it really is. It's called the camp at Wanaka Creek by one of the country's foremost landscape artists, Sir Hans Heysen. Curator Alan Campbell thinks it originally hung at Heysen's studio and home in the Adelaide Hills, but it hasn't been here for 60 years. It's a beautiful watercolour. It's very large, one of the largest watercolours I've seen of Heysen's. 1932, painted in the Flinders. And of all places, we've, it was found in Germany. How the painting ended up in Germany is sketchy. Heysen's own ledger shows it was sold in 1958 to Sir James McGregor, a wealthy wool baron. Art dealer Jim Elder thinks McGregor gave it to an important client in Dusseldorf. Sir James gave so many things away. He was quite a philanthropist. South Australian Gallery had his work. I think this was always a, started out a gift. Heysen made 11 trips over his lifetime to the Flinders, spending months on end there, but finishing very little. Despite Heysen's unmatched eye for and great love of the Australian bush, Camp by Wanaka Creek, like the majority of his paintings, wasn't finished in situ. Instead, he brought it back here to his studio in the Adelaide Hills for very practical reasons. To try and complete a large watercolour, or even any watercolour, um, over a short-term period is, is an impossibility. Um, the heat, the dust, the flies, but particularly the dry air. The painting's been returned to Adelaide for a deceased estate sale. It's up for auction in April. Simon Royal, ABC News, Adelaide.